happening everyone? Professor Mike Coachty back from Grace Bar Round A Leeds here in the UK. Back with another video this week talking about submissions and attacks from the back. Um, what are we on? Wednesday? Yep. So this is the third, third technique of the week. We're going to have six this week just from the back. So you're going to have an amazing kind of really aggressive attacking game from the back. And that's going to serve you well when you get back training with your partners. Today's a, a, a sneaky one. So most submissions, when we talk about the back, if Coach T stays there, most of our submissions will come from the arm that's around our opponent's shoulder and the neck, commonly referred to as a strangle arm or a choking arm. The other arm that's underneath tends to do the control of the position. All right, and we, we, we've spoken about this before when, when we did some of our videos around control from the back. Um, we need to have an ace to play because if our opponent knows that this is our only avenue of attack. Once they can control this arm uh, and disallow our ability to break grips, they're pretty safe. So we need to have some options. So today, tomorrow, we're gonna to talk about different sneaky options to catch your opponent off guard. All right, today, it's the Ezekiel, the arm in Ezekiel from the back. All right, when we talk about an Ezekiel choke, um, fundamentally, it is this. It's placing fingers into our own Sleeve to create a loop inside which our opponent's neck will sit. All right, and you can apply this technique from lots of different areas. One of my favorite positions to catch the arm in Ezekiel is when I'm taking the back or from a technical mount position. You know that, don't you? Can't see. All right, but you can catch this from the mount, you can catch this from the guard. When you, when you start to get good at Ezekiel, you'll see it from loads of angles. Fundamentally, it's fingers in our own sleeve, sometimes four, ideally. Sometimes three, you might only get two. I tend to go for three or four. And looping round the neck to create this little hole here, which I can scissor and cut off. So from the back, this is where this is so useful, is that, yes, I could do an Ezekiel choke here, but by doing this, I give up control. So when my opponent's worried about this arm, I could punch my control arm through to his far shoulder. I grab onto the far shoulder here. This is a phenomenal controlling position. I could gable grip here, lock my opponent in place. All right, it's a fantastic kind of, almost like a deep seatbelt grip. But if I can get that deep, I can then just feed in those hands into the sleeve my right hand and loop my arm around the back of my opponent's neck and I will do it as deep as possible so that my ulna on the bottom of my arm here is attacking the carotid on this side, my radius on this side, cutting off the blood supply to the neck and to the head, thus forming a strangle. So here look, arm in Ezekiel comes through, it goes deep as I possibly can, I'm aiming to put my hand on my forearm if possible. And then I literally can scissor that there, and there's the tap. Notice I lean slightly back just to create a little bit of tension, and then it's a little bit of a squeeze, and you apply the strangle. Don't be tempted to grab your arm if it means that your arm twists up, because don't forget we want the, the thick, bony parts of our wrists to be in contact with our opponent's neck. So make sure sometimes you might only need to get across to that angle there. All right, so one more time. Seatbelt grip here, our opponent's thinking about this arm. I will punch this through all the way to the far side and take a grip on his trap. From there, fingers into the gi. The nice thing about this is our opponent can't see what I'm doing. Okay, fingers into the gi, wrap it around the front, make a fist if you like, aim to get that wrist all onto your opponent's carotid, and then we're straightening our arms. Okay, a little lean back, straighten our arms, and that's the tap there. All right, guys, super simple, but a sneaky attack. You will catch this while your opponent's worried about that strangle arm. We'll sneak it through around the back that chokes in. All right, hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow. Take care.